All right, mud lovers. Here we are again on the Thames Foreshore mud larking with some special guests today. We've got a uh, nugget noggin all the way from America. Yeah, let's go. Wait, I forgot what you oh. were to say. Let's go get some luck in the muck. Yeah, get some luck in the muck. Let's do it. <laughs> oh no way! It's oh yeah. Well, we have a coin or something interesting. Oh my god! I think I fell. I think I can't. I Here we are, the darkest depth of a London alleyway leading to the Thames out there. And off we go mudlarking. Gotta go find some treasure. <laughs> the head torches are on because it's dark. We're <laughs> 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 getting too much shine. It's going to be tricky filming, but we'll give it a go. Ooh, it's cold out here, y'all. That is awesome. So, the first coin of the day might just be a penny, might be something better. Is it what? silver? Oh, it's silver, is it? It is silver. Oh, where is it? it? Not in the... There it is. <laughs> I've got it not in the viewfinder. <laughs> How's it going? Hello, there. How you doing, mate? All right? Yeah. Oh, that's a good point. You get a coin, yeah. Oh, nice. We've got, if I can get it in, it's actually, I think it's George. Is it? Oh, yeah, it's George Fifth. George Sixpence. Yeah. Oh, so how old is like 1890s? Or not quite, no, it'd be like, it'd probably be a 1920. Oh, okay. That is a silver coin right there. Awesome. You can clean that up and uh, get some close-ups. It's got quite a nice uh, design on it. Okay, yeah. Like those ones, but, yeah. Silver coin, first first find that pops up. That's crazy. In the pile of nails too. I know. So Ed Mudlarker, extraordinaire, an artist, Supremo, has just spotted right in, right in front of us. What is that? Is that a, a brick? This is actually quite interesting because this is a bit of um, unusual Roman brick. And what? what they did, they had four little not, not, nodules and yeah. it was actually used in a Roman hypercost Bloody and hell. this actually formed the separation between the wall and um, I will let you know it's Latin name <laughs> but there you go well, that's, that's, that's actually quite rare find they only come up that's occasionally so, that's crazy. That's it. so Roman brick yeah it's a special brick which had four little plugs uh, and I'll send you an image so I can see no you way. put it together it's awesome but you do you occasionally do find Roman stuff there but it's sparse wow brilliant so there you go so this is a nice little find. It's um, a little tag, copper. It's got the numbers one, two, three written on it. So that might be part of a key, key fob. Maybe it belongs to one of the dockers. Who knows? Mystery item. Pretty cool though. Put that in the finds pouch. Yeah. I just want to go scuba dive. <laughs> it's quite dangerous. So here we've got a little uh, cache of pins and these pins are probably going back to like, Tudor times and very often where, where there's pins it can be a few coins but look there we go we've got what is this? Is that a rock or is that yeah a little pebble but there's these pins everywhere you can see them oh, no, no. yeah that's a little fastener might have gone on a corset or something Is that a button? Uh, maybe, maybe. Not sure. There's little bits of fool's gold around here as well, which is quite interesting. A barn. Ooh. Look at that, that's cool. Yeah, a little decorative thing. So that's that's got to be quite old, the way that that little cross in there. I don't know if you're picking that up, but that's a... Uh, it might be a book, I think it's probably a book clasp. Yeah, book clasp, that's quite cool.
Here we go, what's that there? That's a good go on lads, do you do it? I think it's a couple, yeah, it's gotta be a pick her up. You be the first one to touch it. Let's see if I can get it. Put my gloves on. Ooh. That's pretty old, don't you say? Yeah, that's a, I think that's a rose farthing. That's Charles I or Charles II's rose farthing now. Yeah? yeah, I definitely see like a, a crown and like two swords or something yeah. crossing. That's a, that's a cross yeah. yeah. Charles rose farthing. So, 1660 that would be. Would there be a date on it or do they not do dates on this one? No, but that's a cracking one. Tell you what, that is this a is beautiful yeah. condition is amazing. I'll get close up on that. Look at that. That is a really nice rose farthing. Got the crown with two crosses on the other side. Not bad. Beautiful. That is a, that's a, a hot spot. Sweet find there. That's a sweet find. Look at this one. Yeah. So there we go guys, it's something, it's probably brass, but it's definitely brassy, goldy coloured. And it could be anything. Let's see if it comes out or it might need a little bit extra. Let's get underneath it and uh, try and suck it. Could be. Okay, nice. Let's get a little bit underneath it. Ooh. Ooh, wow. I'm actually, I don't actually know what that is. <laughs> it's pretty small. Yeah, I think it is gold. Or brass, it might be brass. It's a brass mystery item. Anybody know what that is? If you know, comment below, but... It might be part of a buckle, I'm thinking. Cool though. It's a nice one. Yeah. <laughs> not sure whether to get excited or not. <laughs> Well, Nugget, we found a little bag seal right there, and it's lead, and there's going to be some detail on that, and it will give us some information and tell us exactly what this was sealed to. So it would have been a bag to stop people tampering from it, and the fact that customs have been paid. So there's probably a maker on there. Um, can't quite read what the uh, letters say right now, but there's definitely a design on there. Um, so yeah, we can find out exactly what that was, and that would have been a bit of string around the bag, probably on cotton or some other imported goods, and that was broken off when it came here to be unloaded onto the uh, off the dock. Yeah, it's cool. You know, appreciate it. It's a nice one. Yeah, you can definitely make out some writing. All right, let's go get some more. <laughs> Do you know what? what? You said Roman, right? But that is Tudor brick. That's, yeah, that is part of a Tudor brick. Oh, oh, the Roman brick, it's just not the part with the... the yeah, because yeah. what it is, it's a th like a regular brick, you can see that it's this size, right? Yeah. And so that's a small one, that's Tudor, so that would have been, that's 15th, 16th century, that brick. Mm -hmm. Part of it would have probably been that long. Handmade, quite crude, you can see where it's been probably in a mould, yep. and slapped and dashed and, yeah, eventually made. Do you know what, right? I learned quite a good fact the other day, that there was a tax, there was a tax on bricks. Really? Yeah, so what they did is they made the bricks bigger, so there would be less tax per brick. Ah. So that's why they made the bricks bigger than that. <laughs> Makes sense. That's a nice huge brick. So Nuggets found another anchor. I know, this is amazing. Look at this thing. Look at the size of that. So you've got the top bit there. On the tip, but pretty decent shape. You may have to pry this thing out and take it home. <laughs> Shouldn't cost too much for shipping. <laughs> <laughs> I will not see that price. Yeah. Yeah, a little handmade pin there, that would have been made by one person individually. And there's something else there as well, which I don't know what that is. There we go, it might have been part of a ring. I don't know. It's all little tiny things around here, aren't they? So oh! Stuff yeah. Get on the train. Oh, somebody. Someone's ID. Is yeah. That, um, yeah. Oh, I'll get the their their BAM. It's membership. Oh wow. We'll cover up their face. Yeah. ID. Oh, that's a that's actually a payment card. Is that if, what, like if, a debit card? Oh, it's a personal identity card. Lithuania. I'll tell you what. I'll take that and um. 
I'll just I'll just report that in case they want that because that could be quite that could be if quite personal. If they need it, yeah, yeah. They may already have a new one, but you never know. Ah, I see. There's a pipe right there. Let's be careful. I think it's a pipe. Do you know what? Now it might just be a bowl. Yeah, just a bowl. But that's early. 1700s. Some more. What do you think that is, guys? A little lead toy. It's like a little lead gun to me. There's the chamber. Freshwater shrimp. All these pins. Little button there. Oh, nice. Oh. Suspender. All yours, man. Oh, thank you. And there, a little pistol ball. It's nice. We need 5,000 more. They're out here somewhere. <laughs> Let me get them to the treasure trove. This is crap corner. All the recent storms we've been having. Oh look, what's that? Hockey stick. I should throw it out there and they can come and get it. Unexpected find for out here. Blimey. The crystal. <laughs> I don't know if that's normal for y'all, but crazy no. for me. It's been tumbled around in the river a while. Awesome. Yeah, is it, I mean, is that definitely not glass? What do you think? Yeah, it could be glass, but you know, to me Quite it's a chunky. crystal. Quite chunky. So Quite chunky, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, the way it's formed like this, that way perfectly. Okay. It looks like a crystal, but yeah, you're right, it could be glass. But we're going to say it's a crystal just to say it's a crystal. Yeah, sure. You <laughs> test it, mate. Diddy musket ball there. Uh. Big one? Oh, the small one. Diddy one. <laughs> you see that there? Yeah. Well, you, you probably know what that is, but do you reckon you might you, you might know what that is? Um, could be a lot of things, couldn't it? Well, it's actually it's a lace shape. Or an aglet, you know, you get a shoelace that, that goes, yeah, on the end of it. That's yeah. right. Yeah. So this is an early it's one. This will be this will be the same sort of era as your coin, 1600s. You know, when you get a shoelace and you've got the end bit that stops it fraying. Well, these were used quite a lot on all the uh, uh, all the clothing back in the day, and obviously a lot of them fell off. Uh, so that was a really early aglet or lace chape. Yeah. I didn't even realise they used them back then. I know. That's unreal. Yeah. Is that lead right there? That's a lead uh, bullet or a weight. Is it an infield bullet? No, what is that? It's old. It's kind of Arch. short, so maybe it's broken off, but okay. Yeah, it's definitely a bullet. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. What's on that? That's a big, big, big old lead weight. <laughs> That's what it is, right? For fishing? Yeah. Well, <laughs> or something, yeah, it's, anything. It's very big for a fishing weight, isn't it? Well, it would have to be a really extreme tide. <laughs> that is copper. I've never seen one with a copper top to it. What I have here, nice little axe head. It's a hatchet. Not bad. Viking. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> 2,000 years old. <laughs> Green button. A green one? Oh wow, that's pretty. Maybe it's made of uh, jade. Do you know much about jade? Is that too green? 
Ooh, that, that looks like jade. That has you reckon? To, uh, well, it could be something else, but it looks jade. Yeah, it's not plastic. That's the color of jade. It's beautiful, isn't it? That's all. Chill. Great find. Oh, no way. It's all. Yeah. Is it a coin? Or is it a butt? No, oh, it's a coin. It's a coin. Whoa. I don't know how old, but it was just laying on the edge like that, and I spotted it. Let's see. If I can get something on it. Eh, hard to tell. You'd probably know. I'd say 1600s. Yeah. Let's have a look. That is um, Scottish. Sorry, Scottish. That's a lovely coin. That, that's, that is, oh, what are they called? It's Charles. Charles. Again, Charles uh, first or second. CR, meaning, I think it means Carolus, meaning King Charles. Yeah. Um, oh, what's the name of them? I've, I, found, no. I found one of these recently. That's, that's a really nice coin. That's awesome. So, 1600s? Yeah. Awesome, man. Yeah. That's crazy. I bought it. Didn't even Excellent. use the metal detector and found this. It's such a cool find. I I'll, I'll remember the name of him in a minute. That so. is crazy. I was just scraping right here in this black material. There's uh -huh. probably more. There's a lot of pins. A lot of uh, closed pins. You can see them right here. Oh, uh, yeah. But, oh, well yeah. done. What a nugget. That's an awesome find. Yeah. I'll be watch up with that. First coin on my own today. Let's find some more. Oh man. It's all here, it's all here. I'm in the zone. I'm in nug mode. <laughs> <laughs> Supercharged nug mode. <laughs> a little lead disc that's been folded. Might be a trader's token. I'll have to unfold that. There might be some writing on that. Should we open it now? Might be a bit too. Might need heating up. Could be, yeah, definitely something on there. Oh, somebody's on a roll now. Yeah. Took him a little while, but now he's getting there. <laughs> that's right, getting and on that, with the good stuff. We reckon that's a Jews harp. And uh, yeah, possibly, most possibly, we'd have had a little uh, reed going through the middle there. Could be an iron one. I've found iron ones before. Yeah. No, well, very possible. Have to double check that, but I'm pretty much sure it is. Well done. So the good thing about the Thames is when the item is dropped into the mud, it stays pretty much as it was dropped because the, the mud that preserves it is anaerobic. So the coin that Nugget found earlier, which is a Turner, a Scottish Turner, um, is pretty much in the same condition as when, when it was dropped. It was just the Thames preserves things so beautifully well. <laughs> I, was, I was doing a flashlight like this. <laughs> Keep going. Where were we? <laughs> See, I'm trying to have a serious conversation here, but he keeps messing around. <laughs> That's why we love it so much here on the Thames, because things are preserved so well over the years. Yeah, it's a lot of fun too. Oh look, that's got a door. I don't know if that is or not, but it looks like a bit of worked flint. Mm, don't know. It's got some percussion marks on it where it's hit. Could be. Just, just hide in. And it says, I want to go home with Nugget. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> I like it. It's material here. Yeah. Just like a little clock handle. I'm not sure if it is or not. What you got there? Two musket balls. Two musket balls. And they look Sweet. just like pebbles. They do. They like to hide. That one there, is that one? Yep, that's one right there, sure enough. That's a, that's a good one there. Okay, let's move some rocks. <laughs> you do love a musket ball. That's right. <laughs> oh, look, 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 look. A little musket ball. Let's see what else we have in there. There's a pin. There's a musket ball magnet. Oh, 
Oh, we got a coin! Coin! We got a coiny coiny. It's a baby one. I think oh, 1600s man. Yeah, another one. I think it's the same as what you it had looks earlier. It's just like it, don't it? It is. You sure you didn't drop it? <laughs> no, no, I didn't. <laughs> oh, I got me a rose farthing. Awesome. On the board. I love rose farthings. And do you know what? A lot of the time on the Thames, because they've been eroded out, they get washed around and they're not easy to spot. So they turn up in various conditions. And if you can make that outlook, can you see just if you're looking at the coin there about 12 o'clock? There's a little tiny pizza wedge. See a little pizza wedge at the top? Very, very yeah. slight different colour. Well, that is actually a copper or brass. Can't remember which way around it is. I think this is brass, but this is a copper wedge. Two different to, metals. To stop forgery. Huh. Yeah, so if you, clean, if you clean this up. They did that back then. Yeah, they, well, forgery was rife. That's nice. I don't, I see, oh, there's a little baby, baby 22 bullet. Or maybe it's, it looks like a bullet. If it is, it's a 22 caliber. See something else right here. Like a, looks like maybe a bell seal. Some type of seal. Right there, it's made of lead. A rose farthing. Look at that. I haven't found one in ages, you know, and now I found, well, there's, I found two. Nuggets found one, that's three. This must have been a little river crossing because in the uh, 1600s, there was only one bridge. So people made a living by taking people over from one side of the Thames to the other. And this was what would have paid your ferryman to take you over. So this is so tiny that they just about fit on your little finger, easily falling out of uh, your hand or your pocket, and that's that, and that's how we find them now. Lovely little thing, lovely English rose on there, and you can see the top there says Rex. Probably saying Carol on the other side, that side. Nothing's flicking all his mud at me. Metal. It looks to me like it's a bone knife handle. Oh yeah. That's really cool. That's old. That's that's Georgian, I'd say. 1750s. Oh wow. That's all very. In fact, that could even be ivory. Looking at the colour, ivory bone handle. That's really neat. It's missing obviously the. Uh, it could be a fork. With like a two prong fork on it, or or a knife. Dinnerware, tableware. Used by the dockers and the sailors at the time. Oh, that's a big coin there. Just checking. No. <laughs> oh, Nugget's got himself another coin. Right there. I just looked down and it was staring back at me. This one might be a little more modern. Yeah. It feels modern. Oh, it's a penny. Oh, modern, yeah. Oh, unlucky. That's okay, I'll spend it later. Oh, I did find, <laughs> find this, which I'm not sure what it is. It looks like it's an early, another early button. Yeah, it feels hollow. Another early 1600 button. The one with a little nipple on the end, a civil war. A civil war, but yeah, it's it's a different yeah, the early one. <laughs> <laughs> Not American. No, the English Civil War. So we just got the detectors out, having a little swing. First signal. It's a big old coin. That is big. Could be a penny. Probably a penny. Yeah, <laughs> it's uh, it's the same queen that we've got at the moment. It's uh, Queen Elizabeth II, penny, probably in the 1950s or so. <laughs> uh, 1962. Yeah. It's still, it's a fine. Yeah. It counts. Oh, well, cleared up quite nicely. Oh, that's a nugget span the crown jewels. It's got part of a crown. Yeah. It's flattened. It's unusual, isn't it? Brass. Wow. I can't even think what that could be. Like a frame off something, I don't know. Yeah. Just detected this. That's a stunning little Georgian button that. And my head torch is about to die, so we haven't got long until we go to the pub. 
to be honest, the weather is getting rather blowy, blistery out here, so as much as I want to stay out, the pub is cooling. It's a nice little find though. Well, we have a coin or something interesting, possibly made of lead. Let's have a look. There it is. Could that be a lead trade to say? Oh! <gasps> I can't believe it. I, can, I think that's no, no. It can't be right, can it? Can it? Oh my God! I think I found. I think I can't. I, I think I found. Oh my God! Roman? Yeah. <gasps> oh no way! <laughs> it's a Roman coin. <laughs> It's not just any Roman coin. It's a denarius, isn't it? Yeah. A silver denarius. I think so, I think so. Yeah, look, you got uh, the... You know, we were just talking about that. I know. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you get it at? Just literally just there. Oh, I thought wow. it was a lump of lead. It looks like it, yeah. Oh, my God. Hey, what are you drinking that? Wow. You're the Roman expert. Yeah, yeah, that's Roman, I think. It's really nice. Standing figure on one side. Yeah. It's actually looking very, very old. Actually, maybe even re Republican. I wonder if it's real or fake. No, it's it's real, but it's it's super old. It's possibly silver Republican Republican denarius. Hey, <laughs> wow. never found one of them the before. It's fantastic. <laughs> Brilliant. I thought it was a, a trader's token. No, I, I think it's a Republican denarius. Oh, wow. Yeah, a bit worn, nice. but... That's ah. very good. I wonder what it is. Who it is, rather. They're quite generic, but like they're um, BC. Wow. wow. It's old. That's Sweet. very old. <laughs> Not a bad coin. <laughs> was that eyes or uh, detector? Yeah, detected. You know, well, I was yeah, going to yeah, go yeah. further down. I just yeah, thought, yeah. yeah, you can definitely see a bus looking right. It's got a bit of a chin on him as well. Well, some were female as well, because yeah. they're, not, they're not actually emperors, they're like Republicans and Ari. Oh, wow. That's old. It is old. Well done. See. So Ed's got a few finds he wants to show us. It actually says a whopping on the bottom. Is that milk? Or is it yeah, uh, fruit, no, actually, fruit juice? Yeah, it But it's nice and old, and it's it local. Lovely. Yeah, that's cold. And it's complete. I've never seen so one like that. There you go. It's, all, it's actually, yeah, it's actually got a... Uh, yeah. It actually has been a... Uh, it might be acid etched or something. Best find tonight is uh, Balamine. Probably 16th, 17th century, and it actually got two little eyes. That's right. But it still needs washing. So there you go. I love it. It's still beautiful. I love it. Yeah. Quite rare now. I used to find loads. Oh, oh really? Gone, gone a bit scarce now, though. Yeah. yeah. Would have been a full beard, beard yeah. face there, and maybe a cartouche on the uh, on the body body of it there. But yeah, fuck a find. Excellent. There you go. That's sweet. Well, here we are, we're in the pub, and we're going to look at some finds. Cheers. So look at this lot. Done all right today. Not bad at all. So, go for my finds first. This is um, off the heel of a boot of a docker, quite cool. Looks like a little baby horseshoe, but it's not. Um, this you saw come up. Not sure what that is yet, yet to be identified. Could be part of a buckle, or as Nugget suggested, it could be a tiny little drawer handle. That'd be quite cool. Uh, find of the day, jump straight to that for me, is my uh, slightly warm but still pretty amazing Roman denarii. And there you can see that there's a statue or a soldier on the other side. Can't believe it, I've never had, really, really find a Roman, but the fact that it's a silver has blown me away. This silver denarii was minted in Rome in 110 BC. And as Ed pointed out, it was used during the Republican era. There were no emperors, just senators, so the face you see is Mars, god of war. Britain was invaded by Julius Caesar in 55 BC. My coin was 50 years old by then. Therefore, it's likely that this coin was brought over by one of the first Roman settlers in Britain. It has spent over 2,000 years in the Thames, and I'm the first person to touch it in all that time. My, how the world has changed. This is a rare piece of history, and I can't wait to record it with the Museum of London. Little tag there, probably from a key ring or something like that. What else we got? Didn't see this one come up, but they're quite nice to find. These are old, like utilitarian little hoops uh, used for holding, you know, it looks like it could have been held off someone's belt holding a key or a sword mount or God knows what. A million uses for these, but that's probably 
post medieval and date. What else have we got? A little button there, suspender. Nice little button there, might be jade. You can't quite see the colour, but this was really beautifully green earlier on. That's really nice. Um, and some rose farthings, which are pretty rare, really. I mean, not rare as in we, we, we find a few, but to find them in this, in this condition is really cool. I reckon the recent storms we've had have been uh, kicking these up and uh, putting them on the foreshore. So that's Charles I and then that one as well. I know, it's crazy. That one's slightly better, actually, I think. Uh, the English rose on that side. Little lace shape. And actually, what is a nice find as well is this, uh, this little button. Actually, that's that's one good button. There's another good button as well somewhere. Is that the solid one? Yeah, there was another one. I can't remember where it's gone. Another little button there with a the crown on. So I think that's it. Oh, we, we, I found this at the end. It's really light, actually. This could be a bit of a Irish bog oak. That's what I think it is. The other one must be in your pouch. Must be. Yeah, I'll dig it out in a second. Petrified wood, but it's been, it looks like it's been cut. So maybe it was used to make something carved out of it. Irish bog oak, maybe. Um, big old chunky Georgian or earlier button. That's hollow. That's really light. Some pins. And this could be a book clasp. Would have been held, you know, use it. You, you put it on the, on the edges of your book to preserve the edges of your book. So yeah, all in all, a great, great, oh, and a knife handle as well, which is pretty, seen better days. But yeah, really cool with that. So, Nug. I did not as well. I mean, for an hour or so out there, we did great. Oh, we did. Got this mystery find. Not sure what it goes off of, but pretty cool. Decorative, maybe the crown. <laughs> um, have, a, have a rose farthing. Is that what it is, right? Yeah, rose farthing. Yeah, rose so farthing. Yeah, so nice. Yeah, it's very nice. Yeah, 1650s. Wow, it's crazy, isn't it? And then I found this one here, which is a Tucker. Turner. <laughs> <laughs> I was close. <laughs> it's a Turner. Nice Turner. Yeah, Scottish. Well, we think we don't know. Sometimes they've got a, a two on it to say it's a two p. So presumably this is a, a one penny Scottish Turner, and that's a thistle you've got there on that one side, which is the Scottish plant. Yeah, I'll take some pictures and show you all. And uh, you got it upside down, but there was a there's a CR on there as well. That's really nice. Look at that. Yep, CR, right there. Very Brilliant. nice. Musket balls. All kind of stuff. I thought this was a crystal. It may be a crystal. It's hard to tell. It could be glass that's just shaped like crystal. But either way, we're gonna call it a crystal. Yeah. <laughs> no matter what it's made out of. Here's a, a penny. 1962. Sweet. A uh, little infield bullet. Some nails, Jews harp, that's pretty cool. Oh, wow. Iron Jews harp. That's nice. Here's a knife handle. Could be ivory. Definitely uh, bone. Yeah, Feels like it. probably off a fork or have a type of weight. Got your pipe as well. Yep, pipe bowl. Probably late 1600s on that. Might have even been smoked in this very pub. Yep, you never know. Yeah. yeah. This is this pub dates to 1520, the one we're sitting in. Really old. Look at it, look at this pub, look at the beams we're in. It's crazy. Yeah, bit, of, bit of ambience, look. Yeah. All these old light fittings and everything. Oh, they do good beer as well. You got the... Uh, have the silver sixpence. Cool. George V. Was it 1936, wasn't it, I think we said? Nice. Yeah. pretty much it I've had an amazing hunt I mean I'm I'm satisfied I'm ready to go do it again it's been cool. awesome I have a YouTube channel I've been doing YouTube videos for around nine years now I do anything from treasure hunting in the rivers searching fields sifting under old barns looking for bottles and stuff like that today I'm in England excellent uh, so my channel is mainly based in the US but uh, I go all over excellent he's a proper mud lover guys so check out his channel the links will be below